Hi everyone, I'm Tori, an adult doll collector, and I create videos for other doll collectors and doll enthusiasts to enjoy. Today's video is going to be a little bit different here on my channel. I am doing a big doll sale. I want to sell all of the dolls that you see here. Let me quickly explain why I want to sell these dolls because I know otherwise I will get tons of questions in the comments, so I'm just going to give a brief explanation. One, my family and I have been going through a lot of financial stress. Uh, then to top it off, we've had two major hurricanes we've been through recently. You have probably seen a lot of my hurricane content here on my channel. We ended up losing some of our large kitchen appliances because of one of the hurricanes. And so all of that put together just means I need to sell a lot of my dolls. Now, most of these dolls here that you see in the crib are going to be $50 USD and under. Now, let me go into the rules when it comes to buying from me. One, you have to be an adult. I do not sell to minors, and as a matter of fact, it's illegal to do so. I only sell to adult collectors. Two, um, I take Zelle, Cash App, and PayPal. As far as contacting me goes, I will leave my email in the description of this video, but my preference in contacting me would be through Instagram. I'll put my Instagram handle here on the screen. Make sure you get it exactly right, as there are lots of scammers out there who love to pretend they're selling dolls that they don't even have, and you will get scammed if you contact the wrong account that may be trying to impersonate me. So it is Tories underscore reborn underscore babies. That's where you will find me on Instagram. Um, and let's see, is there any other, anything else? Oh, please, please, please do not contact me if you're not actually interested in buying. I have a very, very busy life right now. There, uh, there is so much stuff going on in my personal life. I don't have time to play around answering a bunch of silly questions or talking to somebody who isn't even really interested in buying the dolls. That happens so much of the time where I will put a doll up for sale here on my channel and then I will get a few inquiries but they're all not serious. They, they even with the listed price they knew they couldn't afford the doll and in the end they'll ask a bunch of questions and act like they're gonna buy the doll and then in the end say, oh, I don't have the money for it. You know what? Yeah, I don't have the money for it. Maybe next week or maybe a month from now, blah, blah, blah. So please, please, please don't do that to me. It's just inconsiderate of my time and I have a lot of things going on. I don't mean to sound mean, but it gets really old <laughs> how many time wasters I get when I try to sell dolls. Anyway, also, all of these dolls are extremely reasonably priced, like extremely I'm asking barely anything when it comes to the value of these dolls. I just need to um, get these dolls out of here. I want to make some quick sales. So let's go ahead and get into it. We'll start from left to right. This is a customized Behringer doll. I customized him myself. He's weighted and stuffed with the highest quality materials on the Reborn Doll market. I actually have a few videos of him here on my channel. I will link one here in the art card so you can see his cloth body in detail and how he moves and everything, but he is super, super cuddly. He would be perfect as a cuddle therapy doll. I am only asking supplies cost for this doll. So what I paid or around what I paid to create this customized Behringer doll. He is going to be $50 US dollars. By the way, I think I did forget in the rules 
US only. I cannot sell outside of the US right now. Shipping is just a pain when it comes to that. So US shipping only. So $50 plus shipping US for him. He will come in this cute pumpkin outfit that he's wearing for Halloween. Now, these two dolls are baby face dolls from the 1990s. I got them at a doll show this year. There was a lady who was selling off her mother's doll collection. Her mother was going into a nursing home. And so they were trying to gather funds for that. I didn't even really need these dolls in my collection, but I purchased them because I felt bad for her and I wanted to help her out. Uh, and they are adorable, but they just, I never do anything with them. So their hair is actually in really good shape. It's just messy. I'm not good at styling hair and I have not touched them at all since I got them from uh, that doll show. So these dolls are going to be, um, let's just say 45, $45 for the pair. That is a steal. These usually go for more than that single, like each one. So $45 USD, that's it um, for the pair plus shipping. Sorry about all the noise in the background. Um, my family, <laughs> they can be noisy. This doll right here is an Ashton Drake Galleries doll. Her hair is a little bit of a mess right now. It's not that bad. It just needs a little bit of water. But this is the Ashton Drake Galleries Little Grace. And she has a full vinyl torso that's soft and squishy. She's really nice to cuddle. She's a good weight, especially for a manufactured doll. I have not changed anything about this doll at all. She will also come in the little outfit she's wearing. Um, so yeah. There she is. She's still just like she was from uh, when I unboxed her. And I am only asking um, $60 for her plus shipping. So that's a really good deal. I believe this doll's $140 or $150 on Ashton Drake Gallery's website. She's still like new. She will come with her COA. I don't know if I have all of her original outfit, which she didn't really come with much of an outfit anyway. It was like a little cloth diaper and a little like white t-shirt or something like that. Anyway, $60 for her plus shipping. Now here we have some Charlie Bears. I recently got this Charlie Bear. This is Tardy the Sloth. Here's his um, tag. He still has it. He's just been sitting on a shelf on display. Super cute, super sweet and adorable. He can even wear real baby clothes if you want to dress him up. He's just super cute. But I paid 120 for him and I'm letting him go for 50. That's an insane deal. You will not find him for this price, especially not brand new with the tags. Uh, anywhere else there's just no way so 50 for tardy plus shipping then we have this Charlie bear this is Galileo and he is extremely extremely soft like his plush is so soft I wish you all could feel it through the camera now he is more of a special bear he um, here on his collector card as you can see Hold on, let me just turn it. There we go. So you can read it. We hereby certify that this bear is limited to, limited in production to 1200 pieces worldwide by Charlie Bears. So this is one of 1200 worldwide of this bear. He also has this beautiful heart charm and bow. He is very sweet and he would be amazing in anybody's nursery. Asking the same for him, which is crazy because he's um, a very limited bear, but asking the same for him, 
50 plus shipping. Now, these two here, you all have seen them a lot on my channel. This is a Lee Middleton doll. She is sculpted by Riva Schick, and I don't remember the sculpt name, but she was sculpted by Riva Schick. She is in mint condition. Her wig, absolutely flawless. Everything about her, amazing. She wears newborn sized clothing. She has one quarter limbs, so her cloth comes to here and to here. I will put a video in the iCard of this doll. Now, usually I make these two twins. So this is one that you saw recently. I changed him into this Halloween outfit in a shorts video. He has little tears on his face. Now this is a Lloyd Middleton doll and he is much more limited than the Lee Middleton doll is. He wears more zero to three months. He's a little bit bigger than her. I usually have them sitting on my shelf as twins, but he is super cute. And again, mint condition, nothing wrong with him. I'm asking 45 each for these two, or if you want to buy them as a twin pair, I will sell them together for, if you want to buy them together as a twin pair, I will sell them for 65 plus shipping for the twin pair, which is insane, insanely good prices. Okay, and the next doll is this little one. This is a Lee Middleton. She's a full body vinyl Lee Middleton though. Very cute. This is Missy, that's what they named her. And she has all her original clothing, is in mint condition, but she also has like her original uh, receipt from when she was purchased in the 90s um, and her little, her little, Bible that came with her as a prop uh, that they made and everything. Look at her little shoes. Very cute. She can pose. Like I said, she is vinyl. And I'm asking 25 for her. Very good deal, especially for a mint condition Missy. And then you know, if you want to bundle dolls, I will also make the deals even better. If you want to bundle some of these dolls, that would be great because then less packages for me to ship out. I would be happy about that. Now, the big doll here. This is the Samuel Sculpt by Cassie Brace. He was painted by Andrea Randall of Pearly Babes. She is a prototype artist. This doll, hyper, hyper realistic. You've seen him a lot here on my channel. You know him as Sparrow. That is what I named him. He is absolutely gorgeous. Mint condition. Nothing wrong with him. And he has so many little newborn details. I hope my camera is focusing properly for you all. But he is going to be a really good price for a Reborn Art doll, okay? He is a Reborn Art doll, so he's a one-of-a-kind piece of artwork. I am asking $400 for him plus shipping, which is a really, really good deal for this artist's work. And he is the one I will definitely say, please do not contact me and waste my time about that doll. Because I'll, I know a lot of people wanna own these Reborn Art dolls, and that's great, but a lot of people will contact me who don't even have $25 to spend, and he is a one-of-a-kind piece of artwork. Please do not contact me asking for that doll for free. I get that a lot as well. Please just don't do it. Don't waste either of our times, <laughs> please. Anyway, um, oh, he will also come with his COA. He is all authentic. Um, he'll come with his COA, and I believe he also came with his painting artist's paperwork as well. 
Um, so he'll come with all of that. He'll come with a small little box opening. Um, so there it is. Those are all the dolls that I have up for sale at the moment. And uh, in the near future, I may be putting more up for sale if I have to. I already did sell one of my Reborn dolls um, because I unfortunately just had to. And you know, that's the case now. I just, I need to sell some dolls and that's just adulting. Adulting is not always fun. Anyway, <laughs> so again, how you can contact me. My email is gonna be in the description. You can contact me on Instagram. I'm gonna be faster to get back to you on Instagram simply because I have bad vision. Email is hard for me to read. DMs on Instagram are bigger and therefore easier for me to be able to read them. Um, so, yeah. I hope that these dolls all find really great homes. I will be shipping on, I believe it's the 16th of October, Wednesday. Okay. I have um, another appointment that day, so I'm going to make it an errand day. That's when I will ship out dolls if you buy before that date. If you buy that day or after, um, then I will be shipping the following Wednesday. Okay, so the next two Wednesdays, I'm devoting to shipping out dolls, packing them and everything. Um, yeah, so thank you all for watching. Thank you all so much for your interest in these dolls, and I really hope they find good homes.